hey guys welcome back to the channel and we are back with another option to take down eternity of pain craven for week two it is going to be strife now i'll be honest with you i got this solo only on my second attempt so he is probably the second most easiest champ to take down this week because of his uh, invisibility and the mischance and he can very nicely uh, keep craven uh, convert his unblockable to unstoppable and also easily take unstoppable away from him so the key here is to throw your sp1 so you can break the the trap and you can knock craven down and he will go unblockable once that is done let him come into you with a medium dash and you can charge your heavy while he will miss and that will again default him back to an unblockable by that time you'll be able to push him to an sp2 and sp2 is easier to evade he won't be able to throw any of his sp1s and you can avoid all the traps try to stay near to him so you don't get a trap from the node riot and also take care of his unblockable another thing when you will use a heavy attack while he's unstoppable he'll be passively stunned so that will give you an opportunity to go back in and attack him so simply put the rotation is going to be throw your sp1 wait for him to dash into you throw your heavy attack he will be unstoppable and when you throw a heavy attack the unstoppable will be removed and he will be passively stunned you can go back in and start hitting him and uh, go push him to an sp2 and sp2 is easier to evade and you can keep doing that so right there that's an sp1 invisibility wait for him to come in charge a heavy attack passively stun push him to an sp2 and you can repeat this cycle over and, and over again one of the easiest solo that i've done in all of eternity of pain the only reason i am losing health here is because i am running suicides i was very lazy to remove them because of the arena and i wasn't planning on doing a recorded run it was just my second uh, attempt with strife when i got the solo so that's why the suicides are on but if you remove the suicides you, i'm sure you can finish off this fight with a full yellow bar or at least you know three quarters of your health so yeah guys that's a pretty uh, that's all with the strife if you have a strife he's a really good option for this week as well Throne, for throne breaker you had two objectives defensive guard and x force and strife fulfills one of them that is going to be defensive guard other options are going to be colossus it's already on the channel you can check that out and also you can do cheese it with doom the doom cheese is by far the easiest one if you haven't done eternity of pain ever but she is available for you i would highly recommend you go for doom cheese and you should be able to get it done for x force Colossus also fulfills that objective and also there's Archangel although I would not recommend Archangel because that's a very RNG dependent fight Sunspot is a good one there's also Storm and you can also use Psylocke and if you are Paragon then both the Venoms Venom and Venom Pool will work really well Anti Venom is a good option Null is also another option you can also use a Symbiote Supreme so plenty of options available for the Paragon objective that is Symbiote so yeah guys i hope this helps you out there are other options on the channel so check them out as well and i'll see you on the next one we'll probably do one more video on a journey of pain to get all the options in and then we'll focus on the monthly quailer eq and also the battlegrounds coming up so i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one bye